Hi everybody, I'm Brad Miller. I am Source One Sales Technician. Um, today we're going to go over T's and Y's, our Tiger Patch. So this does uh, a full loop in the main line and 9 to 11 inches up into the lateral. And this is all done without doing any reinstatements. Um, we're going to go over some of the equipment that we have for this. This is our 4 inch lid lateral insertion device and this is our six inch lid. Um, they have these air certs on the bottom. So this is our eight inch mainline packer and it has an air cert on the top. So this just gets put on and screwed right on top. Just putting it on hand tight just to create that seal so it doesn't leak. And then every TY kit is going to come with rubber bands. So the rubber bands hold the sides down to have less bolt going down your main line. Um, it also comes with a camera so you can see what lateral you're going into and to make sure you're in, in the lateral properly. Um, our push rods, these are spun steel push rods, they're five feet long. Uh, they do bend when they're hooked together. Um, they're kind of stiff about on their own, but once you hook them all together, they, they do bend. So you can put these down into a manhole and, and they will curve up and, and out of the manhole. Uh, we have our TY wrench. So what this does is it goes onto your push rod. So that when you get this down and to your lateral, if, if that lateral is at the three o'clock or the nine o'clock position, you can turn your lid to push it up into the correct lateral. Other equipment is our air hose. We, it comes with 250 foot air hose and it comes on a reel. Um, and then your camera. So your camera will come with another 150 foot uh, coax cable. So you can put that on a reel also, a lot of people do. It just comes with the wire. Um, and it comes with your monitor. So there's a monitor over here that's all hooked up, ready to go. Nice clear picture. Everybody seems to like those. And then this is what you use to air it up. So this actually has two separate airlines. One airline is for the lid and the other airline is for the main. And you will air these up independently. Um, when, you air, when you air these up, you're gonna air up the main first and then the lid. And then when you deflate, once the patch is done, when you deflate, you will deflate the lid first and then the main. So there are two separate airlines going into this packer. Another good feature of this packer is it is flow through. Um, so you will not disrupt the main line. Um, you will, however, have to let the homeowner know that you're fixing their lateral so they don't use water and back up their lines. This does not have flow through. So we can go from six inch main all the way up to 24 inch main. And like I said, the, the, the four inch and the six inch laterals. Um, so we can do the full loop in the main up to 12 inch, I'm sorry, up to 15 inch. Um, and then once you get bigger than that in the main, then it goes to a, a top hat style. So you would just get this rather than this and the full loop. Because you would just put a top hat in once you get that big. Um, I think we are set to go. I'm gonna wet one of these out, put it on the packer, and put it in this line that we've got set up here. So just like the pipe patch, double glove. They put enough gloves in these kits for 
at least two people to double glove because this system does take at least two two to three people to load it on the packer um, you do have to have a guy down in the manhole to enter the packer into the main line you cannot do it from up top okay so every kit comes with everything you're gonna need so it will come with two one-piece sleeves um, your zip ties or bread ties and or both comes with your silicate resin um, now this resin here is a winter resin and then we also have a summer resin which cures slower so if you're brand new to the system um, if you have a long push, if it's going to take a while to get to the spot of repair, I suggest using summer resin. It takes longer to cure. Um, the winner is our middle of the road. And then we have a, a rapid resin that you have five minutes of working time and it cures in a half an hour. So those you need to have short runs, short distance, or you're very experienced in pipe patch and you know you can get to that spot of repair on time. So this is actually a winter resin we're gonna be using, and this will cure out in about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on temperature. In the building, it'll probably be about an hour and a half, hour and 45 or so. Uh, it comes with uh, tape, and what the tape is for is to tape your one piece sleeve to your packer. It comes with those rubber bands to attach your um, your lid to the packer and hold them flaps down. If them flaps are out, then it gets bulky and it gets hard to push down that line. So you put them, them rubber bands on to, to, to make your package smaller. Um, put the spatula, that's to kind of help mix your, your resin and the work surface. So if you're working on a fold-out table, um, you can put this on and you're not gonna get resin all over your table. You can just end up throwing this away once you're done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the one-piece sleeve onto our packer. Oh, I'm sorry. So the first thing we need to do is this, this lid is super long and we need to shorten it and then when we do that we push this inside of itself making a, a cup or a bowl and the plastic the lid plastic is going to actually go inside there and then our patch will go inside there also so you're making making a bowl to receive your 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 plastic and your fiberglass to be able to release the air from from the packer um, you can put a screwdriver or a pen or anything in there but we've got these we made these air certs just to make it easier on us just push it in and it allows that air when I'm pushing that in it allows that air to, to, to escape plastic and your fiberglass. Next step is putting our lid on. Okay, so this is a Y. When we do Ys, we go from upstream going downstream. So when we put this in, uh, we need to have our 45 angling back towards us, or back towards our camera. So we put this on. It's already going in the right direction. You want to make sure 
that your your welded seams that are right here are all the way to the push down to the packer. You want that to be able to push right down. You take all this extra material, pull up to where there's none on the bottom. We just roll this down till we get to the top of the packer. Now we're gonna tape. And when you tape this on, you wanna make sure it's super tight. Really stretch that tape. Make and fold the tab. This is gonna get pushed through resin and you wanna be able to find, find the end of your tape. You wanna be able to pull it off. Like I said, make sure this is pushed all the way down to the top of the packer. Make sure your wheels aren't getting locked up. Okay, so now for the lid portion. You need to push this all the way down. Insert that, the tip of that right inside the bowl. And use your wrench, push it all the way down as far as you can get it, all the way to the bottom. still have room in there for your fiberglass and your wetted out patch. So once you've getting that pushed in there, take your insert out, make sure you hook your hose back up. It's very, very, very important. Make sure it's hooked up. That hose is hooked up. Our push rods are attached just with a bolt. That's all it is so it can pivot and it makes it easier to put it in the main line. Um, and then your camera uh, has this horseshoe bracket that'll come with your, with your camera system or your TY system, and it just gets bolted up underneath, clamps down. So this is a prepared packer. This is what you wanna see when you're doing your dry run or your live run. Um, everything is taped on nice and tight. Everything's covered. You've already got your, your bowl ready for your wetted out patch. So now this can be set off to the side. Waiting for the patch. This is a full 100% fiberglass. This is not felt. We found that fiberglass works a ton better than felt. A lot easier to manage, a lot easier to get into the lateral, and just just a better patch. It's, it's structural, and it's also with our silicate resins that we use with our normal pipe patch. Okay, get our resin ready. out in about an hour and a half, possibly two hours, depending on how cold it is. Pull off these tabs. Oh, the zip ties. They need to be bridged. So you need to connect two of these together for the main line or the main portion of the of the packer. So just have that bridged and prepared, ready to go. Okay. 
they give you extras just in case you break some because these zip ties are designed to break. You cannot just use any old zip ties from Harbor Freight or Home Depot. These, these we have special made to break at a certain PSI. So they do give you extras in case one does break. Um, and then our, uh, our wire ties. That is for the four inch lid. The six inch will get the zip ties, but the four inch lid or the four inch portion of the lateral will get these wire ties. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stack them on top of each other. And I'll put two together, two, three, one, two, three. Now you've got one bread tie because we want them doubled up. This is the point where I, before I open this bag, I always take a step back, make sure everything stays where I need it to be, make sure all my equipment is ready to go, make sure my air compressor is full of air, we're not tripping over each other, everybody knows their job, what they're supposed to be doing, um, just making sure everything is where it needs to be. I think we are good to go. Airlines are hooked up, cameras on. Okay, I think we're ready. Turn my bag open, mix part A to part B. Spatula, this is all pre measured, so we want to make sure we get all of the material out of the corners and edges. Making sure everything gets mixed together. And you're looking for like a butterscotch, creamy, peanut butter color. Uh, you don't want to see any swirling or uh, that just tells you that it's not mixed properly. So make sure it's all one color. There's no inconsistencies in the, in the resin. Okay, that's the color you're looking for. There's no swirling. Like I said, there's one color. All right, so now we're gonna wet our fiberglass mats out and load our packer. Um, I've got two guys over here, Roberto and PJ. They're gonna help me out. off the top hat first that's the first thing that goes on to the packer thank you PJ you just smear it around make sure there's no white or shiny showing through make sure it gets saturated and soaked right into the patch you don't want anything shiny showing through. Hey PJ, do you mind pouring a little bit inside of here, please? Okay, let me flip this over. Let pour all over there for me, PJ. Thank you, sir. That's good. Make sure everything is saturated. Um, you don't want any pooling. So you just scrape off the excess, not too much, just the excess. Burdo's got that. Pretty good. Let's see how that off. Yep, that's good. Inside. I like it. All the insides covered. Everything, there is no shiny. I'm gonna come over here on this side. Make sure this is pushed all the way down to the top of the packer. Like 
I said, the smaller this the package is, the easier it is to get it into the lateral. these knots you want these knots on the side of the packer you don't want them on the bottom and the top because if they're on the bottom and they're going down that main line um it could break them you can catch an offset you catch a joint you catch just about anything that and you don't want to obstruct your view from your camera so the smaller the better okay now this, all you're gonna do is tuck this in, you start from one side and you just kind of work your way around. Tucking that down into that cup that you created. Again, you want this thing to be as small as possible, the easier it is to get it into the lateral. So you want this top one to be as close to the top as you can without it wanting to slip off. You're going to snip this access off. Get my top set of gloves off. Okay, now we're going to enter this into the pipe. You want to fold your lid portion towards you and enter it into the pipe. So if you watch on the camera, you're going to go past your lateral and then once that lid pops up inside there's your lateral and you can turn this any direction you need to down there with that with our wrench that I'm using now so there's our lateral we can see we need to turn it this way a bit and that naturally just wants to seat right up inside um, and again like I said in the beginning when you air this up you want to air up the main line first we have these marked so we know which one is the main line and which one is the lid the lid that or the the one that has the mark on it is always for the lid on the packer the lid is the red fitting and the main line is the gold fitting but if you mark these hoses um you won't get confused which is which here in the bottom of the main you're gonna watch on the monitor going to take this up to about 30 to 32 PSI. Seeing it going right up into the lateral. You see your patch there on the main. When we get to 30 to 32 PSI, that patch will be packed out against the walls of the main.
Okay, we're there now. So now we're gonna take it off of the bottom of the main line. And we're gonna put it on the lateral portion. Same thing, you're gonna go up to about 30 pounds. Okay, and we're there. When you set these down, make sure you're not setting them on your release buttons. Um, we can come over here and look down the lateral. Let's see what it's looking like. Everything's packed out up into your up into your lateral, and no reinstatements. So once this cures out after hour and a half to two hours, you deflate the lid first and then deflate the main. You're gonna push it forward, twist it out of the lateral, and then pull everything right out. And now you don't have to, to do any kind of reinstatements. So this is a finished product. This is what it looks like in the main. And then right down the lateral. our tiger system.